explain this mess? Well, uh, we're in the midst of putting two cells vertically, like this one. Um, right now, we're going to swap out wires. Uh, so this is the first version of the cell with um, Trelawney wire in it. So we're going to take that out and put in um, bare ISO 1044. And we're going to do the same with version 2 of the cell. And they'll be up here side by side for calibration. Okay, so this is the mostly finished um, reactor rack here, twin rack, I guess. And we have version uh, 0 over here, 1.0. 1, 1 this has the mica uh, core, it also has a nichrome and an iso tan wire. Um, then next to it, we have version 1.1 with a Macor core and also nichrome and isotan wires in there. And what kind of glass is each of them? Uh, this one has the quartz with smooth edges and the version 1.1 has uh, Pyrex. Um, they're all plumbed almost identically except for in version 1.0 we have less thermocouples. Um, Earlier you saw all, all these thermal couples on version 1.1 are in the same position as uh, we posted earlier. The plumbing has changed a little bit between them. Um, we now have pressure sensor and relief valves on the bottom of the vertical cell, and they're kind of they're plumped together here, where we can add um, hydrogen from here into either or both. We have the vacuum here, and we can vacuum either one or both of them at the same time. And we'll hook up um, helium and argon over here, uh, so we'll have that capability as well. Explain the little blue box. Oh, oh this box? That's the, um, uh, I guess the, the heater controller for the room. That's supposed to keep the room pretty much constant temperature while it you know, gets colder or hotter as the day changes. Right, um, there's the T ambient sensor. Yeah, actually, oh, this one's in, a T ambient one sensor. Copper, yeah. And that's a sensor that controls the uh, room temperature. Right. So it stays real accurate from this point of view. And if you move it a few inches, it's a different place, the room. Yeah, hopefully... Not the same accuracy. Hopefully it being in front of both the cells will make it more constant for actually around cells. Before we had it over to the left of the cell, which is on the right, and it wasn't exactly constant during the um, And then you'll see all the wires disappearing under here. And we have two power supplies, one for each, um, set up on a shelf under there. Um, let's, let's look at the airflow. Oh, yeah. Look at the airflow. This is a neutral density smoke. The air flows pretty much past the sensor, past these things, and up. The air is also flowing in from up high. Then we'll have, we'll be putting ambient uh, sensors above, maybe one over to the left of these, of this reactor, one in the middle, and then one to the right of version 1.1. So we should have should have a good idea of what's actually going on inside of, under the hood. With 
install the switches that we have now. Excellent. And we'll let everybody know as soon as we get it up and testing this afternoon. I just put them into the pin one and two there. They were grouped together so that like all I saw was an orange and a white together and an orange and a white. Ah. So I thought they were Okay, we have have an extra barrier in between just to cut down any arguments about whether or not the heat that's coming off of this is affecting this one over here that this is a piece of of uh, twin wall polycarbonate it's black so so it's opaque and polycarbonate's opaque at, at long wavelengths anyway and it's two walls so it's, so it's an insulator so there won't be a lot of radiation or excess heat that's going from one side to the other. The experiment is now underway. We are starting to calibrate the cells. Cell 1.0 on the left, cell 1.1 on the right. Because they're basically the same version with only a few minor differences. I just think this apparatus looks pretty damn badass. Merry Christmas, everybody. Doesn't quite look like a Christmas tree, but it's not too far off.